Well, surprise, surprise, here we are back on Prokhorovka. This time we're in the T-34-3, so I hit all the high points with uh, my tanks uh, this weekend as far as the T-34-3 and the STA-2. So this is going to be another ace tanker, and we have opted for the vision layout on this uh, in this game because we are mid-tier. Well, there's tier 9s, tier 8s, so... Uh, not exactly mid-tier, two-tier game. And I kind of went to the middle because I was afraid that nobody would. That happens often. But I noticed that we have nothing on uh, on the hillside, which is really bad because there's... Well, one, there's only one light, so there's that. But the if we're not... If you don't control this side of the map at all, they can just cap you out. So, in encounter, you have to actually pay attention to this side of the map more. You you should anyway. We see an IS six, and this is going to be kind of a hairy game. It's going to get a little bit crazy. So, the only guy I've got with me is a tortoise, but it is a tortoise, right? I mean, it's a uh, that's a tough tank. So. So a lot of guys in the middle, we have uh, one light tank, and I don't know exactly what he's doing or why he's in the position he is, but nevertheless, he's facing a WZ-132A, and uh, we're just going to pop up here and see if we can get some lights here. So. so this Chrysler, don't do what he does. <laughs> you're gonna get punished once you're lit you want to stay away from the hill of course maybe he figured that nobody had shot at him yet so so not much to say it's gonna be a slow game um, I can tell you that much because it is proc and we're able to hit a nice shot on that t103 which is um, which is fantastic that guy is he has a 440 alpha gun and decent armor um his turret ring is pinnable he's pinnable uh in his uh cupola uh, but i don't really want to face that thing because it has super high penetration so so we're gonna throw a shot in the is6 we're still on standard rounds here And we're just waiting for shots. Oh, that was unfortunate. We had a shot there. And uh, it looks like the T-103 shot our tortoise. He sure did. <laughs> of course. Someone's already calling the team retards. I don't know. I, I don't know why the AE Phase 1 is upset, to be frank. But, um, I mean, we're giving good support on the hill. So we do have a prop behind us, um, but he's way back there. And, uh, yeah, kind of a odd game here. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take a shot on him. But we load HE first because he deserves some love. To the tune of 510 damage and we did not even get spotted for that so so things are going pretty good until our tortoise decides he's gonna yolo <laughs> why i'm not quite sure but he does however it gives us a chance to kill the chrysler i'm not going up there not against an E-50, a Progetto 46, and whatever is shooting him from the middle. So, no thank you. One thing I'll say, uh, he made kind of a boneheaded move, in my opinion. But, um, he did not complain about me not going. Because, truthfully, if I had gone in this situation, it would have left this side of the map open. And we definitely do not want that. Right? So... See if we can get a shot on this M2Y, and we do. So, 
part of ace tankers is RNG, right? <laughs> and we're getting pretty good RNG here. So, um, in most cases, uh, the uh, the way to go with this is the DPM setup, but I'm really glad I chose the V-Range setup here. I think I've got, I don't know, 470 V-Range or something like that. And this thing has pretty good camo, so, um, you know, I don't run food on it because it burns. But other than that, it's, uh, yeah, I like this setup for open maps. So I could go whole hog and go uh, with the CVS setup, but I decided not to do that. Well, we've got a tourist coming in in the, in the form of a Ferdinand. And we're just kind of playing low and slow, pretty much. That Pantera ends up killing the AE Phase 1. And I'm sure he's going to have some more to say, it'd be my guess. We load, load HE. So that phase one, as we, we load HE and bust down the building, I don't know, that that's why we did it, right? So that we could bust down that building. I don't know why that phase one died the way he died. I'm not sure if we, if he was being fired at from other angles. I don't know. All I know is that this, uh, this Ferdinand is really helping my score out <laughs> so drink a little coffee this morning once again I'm not too worried about the fact that 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 Ferdinand's capping ooh there's a sneaky e50 and actually i remembered that bush there's a bush up there that um that he's using that is actually really good so i'm gonna remember that bush and use it myself gives you an ambush shot you can still fall back into safety pretty easy so again i'm not too worried about this guy but if i can get free shots on him that's what i'm gonna do So, ouch, looks like the Ferdinand is firing HE maybe, so, so we are now a one shot, unfortunately, doesn't take long in a tier nine game or, you know, two mistakes basically, and we're, we're down to one shottable, so. Okay, so that bush is not working for us. So we got to figure out something else to do before we die. Especially that, that E50 is using a, uh, APCR, so not good. So I noticed that he ran away. And so we're just going to sit here. We're not going to move. We're going to let him... And now our camo is quite high. We got bush camo plus, um, I think our camo is like over 30% in this thing. So, so close game. Tied 9-9. Nine to nine. And uh, we do have HE loaded. And we hit him for 562. <laughs> so, 4400 damage. So... So, you notice this T-54 is full health, and he is sitting in the back, and I'm asking him for some help, because, I, you know, at this point, um, I'm a one-shot for the E-50 that's on top. If he would come over here and give us a hand, or jump on cap, or do anything, would be really, really helpful at this point. So we're just testing to see if we get lit here. 
Oh, there's a scorpion. I have HE loaded, so. He is on the other side of the map, though. And that's fine. Like I said, we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait. We can't really do anything else. We're a one shot, right? What'd the tortoise say? I don't know. It's maybe talking about me. So, sorry, I don't have a whole lot to say. Um, hope your day's going well. And I fire a shot just to see if I get lit, and indeed I do. So. I don't know why I have HE loaded, to be honest with you, because um, truthfully, the, the big problem is this E50. And we do go to heat. So there's a there's a bush that I can use as well. So we're gonna use that. See if we spot anything. Looks like his bush is a little better than mine though. So the fact that we haven't been spotted from the top in quite some time and he has not fired up there tells me that he may have relocated but he has not so so if he moves into that position if he's moving his camo is is pretty crap i mean an e50's camo is crap anyway but uh so i thought maybe i could bait him into a shot so we're going to move back into this position because i believe that E50 is uh, not going to be in a position to spot me. So it's looking a little more dire. We've lost some more. Um, some we've lost some more map control, and uh, we're kind of stuck here. So, uh, and we shoot that Scorpion G and no dice. So. So we're just waiting to see if we get get a shot on this guy here. And we shoot down the building. <laughs> it allows our prototype to hit the guy. Don't sit behind destructible buildings. So we got HE loaded yet again. And we probably ought to be going to uh, standard rounds or heat. Heat would probably be the best choice here. So... Again, we have, we have, uh, as we hit another nice shot, we have no support, right? None. And that's quite frustrating, to be honest with you. I mean, this, this T-54, if he was up here, he would co be completely safe. But as it is, he's he's fighting against a, or he's a progetto is farming him, and I of course miss because this this guy gets tracked, and now it's just a matter of time. They've got complete map control. They've got one and a half times our HP, and I don't know what else we can do here. 5,100 damage, you know. We'll take it. But uh, one minute left. So I don't know if this is going to end in a draw. I can't remember or if it's going to end. Because obviously we're not going to end up winning at this point. It's 10 to 12, so. And I failed to see this guy. And he rams me to death. Good on him. Ballsy play. So, um, I'm watching because I think this might be an ace tanker. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying I did 5,300 damage, so...
So the E50 goes down, object 777, and two seconds, one second, and it ends in a draw. So let's look at the after action on this. Well, not often do you get a uh, an ace mastery on a draw, but in this case we did. We got a high caliber. We also got a confederate uh, for our 5300 damage, no blind damage. Looks like our SU-101 did pretty well, and our pr prototype um, did pretty well as well. Uh, their Patriot did really good, as did their Object 777, and uh, their E-50 did pretty good too. So uh, we ended up making 56,000 credits. We fired 22 shots, 16 hits, 12 pens. Again, 5,300 damage. Damage blocked by armor is 390 and a little bit of assist took us right over 6k there so um, appreciate you guys watching hope you enjoyed it was a long one um, hope to catch you guys on the next one Tonester out